Hi, this is Karen Peters with Renovated Faith, and today we are talking about furniture paint, milk paint, chalk paint, and latex paint. We are specifically comparing all three and comparing the ABCs of furniture, adhesion, uh, your budget friendliness, coverage, and durability. So the post that corresponds with this video goes into a lot of detail. I wore this shirt today, it says, hold on, let me overthink this because I think I overanalyzed the differences between milk paint, chalk paint, and latex paint. But hopefully that'll help you to figure out what the best paint is for your furniture product. So first of all, we have milk paint. And the reason I picked uh, Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint versus Annie Sloan's chalk paint versus Sherwood Williams latex paint is because they're all the leaders in their fields in terms of paint. And so you want to use a good paint product. Um, I remember when I used a really crummy uh, paint to paint our kitchen cabinets in our old house. This was a long time ago before I knew much about furniture painting. 13 coats of paint because I was painting with milk basically. So it's important to pick a good paint. Uh, learn from my mistakes. So first of all, we have milk paint from Miss Mustard Seed. This comes in a powder form. You mix with a one-to-one -one ratio of milk paint powder to water. And so you can see, hopefully you can see, that I have a sample of each on this board. So this is an all natural or mostly natural product. Uh, you have to mix it really well uh, so that you don't have any um, granules of the powder left in your final finish. But the nice thing about this is that it's great if you are more artistic in your furniture uh, painting. If you want to add lots of layers, uh, that's great. On raw wood, you just mix a one-to-one -one mixture of the uh, powder with water. If you're going over a painted or stained surface, you want to add in a bonding agent. This bonding agent is in lieu of primer. Basically, it just helps the milk paint to adhere to whatever surface. So like I said, if, you, if you're more artistic, what you want to do is leave out the bonding paint, the bonding paint, the bonding agent, and that milk paint, when it goes over that old surface, it's going to chip and give a real vintage rustic feel, if that's your thing. Um, to some people, that's exciting because they don't know uh, how that's gonna turn out. To people like me that are kind of control freaks, that makes me a little nervous. But honestly, like I've seen a lot of really pretty layering and things that you just can't do with other paints that you can do with Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint. Next, we have Annie Sloan chalk paint. Now, I picked Annie Sloan's because it was the first major chalk paint. It's the best, it's a little thicker, which gives you better coverage. And so uh, you can see here that uh, I've gone over it. Each of these are one coat, so they all cover very well. Uh, in terms of uh, adhering to surfaces, chalk paint does a really good job. Chalk paint is consists of a pigment to give it the color uh, and calcium carbonate and some other resins. Calcium carbonate is what gives it that chalky texture. It sticks really well to surfaces. Unfortunately, the calcium carbonate makes the surface of the paint really soft. So because of that, you need to have some sort of sealant. A lot of people use wax. Uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve with the wax and it can take some time. And uh, also, I've been told by several reputable furniture painters that wax needs to be resealed every six months. In other words, you're supposed to go back and re-wax your furniture piece every six months. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna have to deal with that. Um, but as we talked about last week, there's a good solution for that. There's something called Flat Out Flat by General Finishes, and it allows you to maintain the same uh, soft matte finish of wax, but in a regular clear coat form. So basically you just brush it on. It's super easy. You don't have to do anything ever again, and it's a durable finish. Okay, so that's chalk paint. And one word about primer. Um, I like to sand all of my furniture uh, 
pieces. And when I say sand, I don't mean take off the whole old finish. No, I mean, if, if I had to do that, I would not be into redoing furniture at all because who wants to sand off the old finish of furniture or use a furniture stripper on furniture. But by sand, I just mean go over it with sandpaper or a sander. And I have a post on how to sand furniture in less than five minutes to show you how to do that. So you're just basically uh, going over that surface so that it's not slick so that it can accept that new paint or stain. So I like to sand everything because if you don't sand, you're gonna regret it later. That extra five minutes of sanding or that extra five minutes of adding a primer can save you a lot of grief if you get down to the last coat of paint on your furniture product and then you realize it's peeling. Or a year later and you realize that your kitchen tabletop has not held up to your family's everyday wear and tear because maybe you didn't wear, didn't wear a primer, didn't add a primer, or maybe you didn't put a clear coat on it. So it's worth it to put a little bit more effort forward in the beginning and I show you easy ways, shortcuts, tricks that you can take to do that so that your furniture piece um, gives you uh, enjoyment and just has a durable finish for years to come. Okay, so with that said, you don't always need a primer for chalk paint. If you have a really slick surface, like my table has a lot of polyurethane on it. Um, if I were to paint chalk paint on this table, I would use a primer because it's such a slick surface. So one way to test is just to be sure if you do need a primer, go to your uh, furniture piece that you are going to paint and just paint on just in an inconspicuous location, just a little bit of paint, just a little bit, just a, a dot and uh, come back a couple hours later and then scratch that little dot of paint with your nail. If it just scratches off easily, you need a primer. So that's a good test. Um, last we have a latex paint called Sherwin Williams Pro Classic. Now, I usually use bare latex, and I'm sorry, bare, but I have a new BFF when it comes to latex paint. It is called Pro Classic, and the reason I use that is to go back a little bit. Originally, furniture paints were all oil-based paints. The, pro the, the good thing about the oil-based paints, they went on really smooth, beautiful finish, um, super durable finish. It just created a hard, hard enamel. The problems are the VOCs that can be highly toxic, highly flammable, and also a lot of the white oil-based paints will yellow over time. So I actually have a cabinet that is, is starting to yellow a little bit that was painted with a uh, white oil-based paint. So about 20 years ago, Sherman Williams came out with a paint called Pro Classic. It's a paint that has all the attributes of, of oil-based paints. It's called an alkyd, an, a waterborne alkyd paint. And it has all the attributes of the oil-based paints, but doesn't have the VOCs because it's water-based. So easy cleanup, no smell, not highly flammable, uh, all good things. So the nice thing about this and why I like it over a regular acrylic latex, like you might find in Home Depot is that it has these attributes of the oil-based paints. It just levels out a lot better. It's hard to believe how well, like you can see it on this piece. Well, I know you can't see it, but I'll show a close-up where it just levels out. You don't see the breast strokes. And the biggest thing, it has a really durable finish that doesn't need a top coat. Um, so that's why I'm a little big fan of this product. Um, also, it has a short cure time. Furniture uh, needs time to dry, but it also needs time to cure. Cure time is when it uh, achieves its maximum hardness. Cure time for this product is seven days, and it will be a very, very hard surface. Cure time, oh, and this is created for cabinets, so you know it's a really durable surface if it's created for cabinets. Cure time for any Sloan chalk paint is 30 days, and you really need something on top of it 
to provide harness. And I'm sorry, I'm unsure about the cure time on this. I wanna say 30 days for milk paint. So you want to keep that in mind, and that's okay if you have a longer cure time. You just wanna be sure to use it, use that furniture piece lightly until that 30 days or when that window is over. So that's why Pro Classic is my new uh, furniture paint of choice. Uh, in the blog post, I talk in detail. That's why I wore this shirt today um, in detail about uh, why certain paints are better than others in terms of uh, the ABCs, adhesion, budget friendliness, coverage, durability, and ease of use. And so um, from what we can tell right now, in terms of coverage, the Miss Mustard Seed is going on more like a stain. You can tell it's really seeping into the pores, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, you can see some of the granules, but I think that's just user error. That's, I just didn't mix it well enough, probably. But they're, they're really faint, they're not super obvious. The Chop Paint uh, covered really well. Um, you can see some brush strokes, but for some people, that's a good thing. They like to see those brush strokes. Um, then the Sherwin Williams Pro Classic. I don't see any brush strokes. I see a few brush strokes on the chalk paint. Um, really, no brush strokes with the milk paint because it seeped in more. Now, if I did another coat, we might see some brush strokes on this. Uh, and then coverage for all three was about the same. So go to that blog post at renovatedfaith.com for all the details and which was the best furniture paint I picked. And there's different furniture paints that are better for different kinds of furniture painters. For example, there's a best furniture paint if you like to distress. There's a best furniture paint if you just want a plain Jane, smooth, durable finish. And there's a best furniture paint if you uh, like a vintage chippy feel. Depending on what you like, uh, there's a furniture paint for you that'll make it easier and provide you with great results for years to come. Thank you so much. This is Karen Peters with RenovatedFaith.com.